big question dominating French politics. Can the far right win the French presidency? Well, in the last few moments, there's been a jubilant cry of uh, victory here as Marine Le Pen and President Macron are through to the second round of the French election in two weeks' time. Marine Le Pen, the leader of the Rassemblement National, that far right party, which has gained a significant amount of momentum here in France, will be running again against French President Emmanuel Macron to take that seat at the Elysee Palace. Now, we are expecting Marine Le Pen to arrive any moment, and certainly there is already a real atmosphere of uh, festivities here. This is great news uh, for Marine Le Pen supporters. She's run a very smart campaign focusing on the cost of living, which is what is the most concerning issue for French voters at the moment. And it's really detoxified her as a candidate. She hasn't talked so much about immigration, so much about Islam. And she is appealing to a broader church at this election. And certainly her image has softened. But critics say she still has the same far-right values. It is a concern to others here in France that potentially this is Marine Le Pen's real chance uh, to take the French presidency. It's the third attempt for her at an election, and it is her last chance. But the figures are within the margin of error that we saw with Donald Trump's victory in America and with the Brexit campaign in the UK. People here are comparing this election to those two examples that we saw unfold in America and Britain. And to give you an idea of the figures, tonight President Macron came in at 28% of the vote, Marine Le Pen at 23.3%. And certainly it's in that territory that Marine Le Pen could potentially win at the second round. Now it's not likely Emmanuel Macron is still in the lead. But what will be very interesting is where the other votes get distributed in that second round because there were 12 candidates in this first round and those candidates who haven't got through it will just be President Macron against Marine Le Pen in round two it's where people choose to allocate their votes if they vote at all now historically parties would unite to block a far-right candidate from getting into office and certainly it feels much less traditional in this election. I've spoken to a number of people who are considering voting Marine Le Pen in round two. Others who are saying they're not going to vote at all and that could also fuel a surprise result. But certainly it feels like an unpredictable election and it certainly feels like Marine Le Pen is much more palatable now for French voters. It'll, it's going to be a very interesting two weeks and certainly an alarm bell for President Macron. We can actually show you the figures now for this exit poll, which has dro just dropped in the last couple of moments. President Macron in at 28.1%. And Marine Le Pen, the leader of the Rassemblement National, is at 23 Jean-Luc Mélenchon at 20%. He is seen as a far-left candidate, if you like. And Eric Zemmour at 7.2%. He's a far-right candidate. And Marine Le Pen will certainly take at least 90% of Eric Zemmour's votes in round two. What's going to be very interesting is where Valérie Pécresse at 5% and Jean-Luc Mélenchon's votes a 20% go, that's much less predictable. Those two candidates, we don't know who they're going to endorse, who they will back, but certainly, at the moment, they're the two to watch in terms of where their voters decide to lend their votes at round two in two weeks' time. Traditionally, voters would vote for the what's viewed to be the safest pair of hands in round two of the French presidential election. But it feels like we are in uncharted territory here in France. A number of people are considering Le Pen that wouldn't have previously considered voting for a far-right uh, party. And why is that? Well, President Macron's been in power for five years now, and actually a 
A number of people still view him as elite and out of touch. And the cost of living crisis is certainly the, the central theme that Marine Le Pen focused on in her campaign. And it really worked for people that she was leaning left on economics and the hardship that so many French people are suffering. And it certainly has given her a sense of appeal here in France that could just push her over the line uh, in round two on the 24th of April. As I say, President Macron is still ahead. There's no guarantee. She is, there's no guarantee of his victory, but he is still ahead. It just does feel like a very unpredictable election. And as history has taught us with Brexit and with Donald Trump, we are now in a margin of error. We're in the, those figures are certainly potentially vulnerable for disruption in an unpredictable round two in two weeks' time.